So with Just Cause 4, I think it's time that I just finally admit that I don't like Just Cause as a series. I've tried. With this one, I've tried. I've tried every single time. Theoretically, it should be my bag. It's got loads of different guns, loads of different vehicles, uh, loads of explosions. It's got things I like in it. But after 10 or 15 minutes, 10 or 15 enjoyable minutes, I might add, it just gets dull to me. I think the main problem with Just Cause, as far as me liking it and, and not liking it goes, is it finds its tone, it finds its setting, and then just stays there. There's no sense of escalation in my mind with Just Cause. Uh, and I felt that, especially with this one. Uh, it, it starts off with explosions and zip lining and vehicles. I shouldn't say zip lining, it's grappling hook. Uh, it starts with all that stuff. And then it just stays with all that stuff. You get new vehicles as it goes along, but it's still just more of the same. And it, it never once feels like the explosions get grander uh, or the, the action gets hotter. Uh, this isn't helped by the fact that the mission structure for most of the missions is do the same thing over and over again. Go here, blow up the thing. Go over there, blow up the other thing. Go over there, blow up the thing. Go here, kill the person. Go there, kill the person again. Go there, kill another person. Or these escort missions, which just go here, escort the people. Go somewhere else, escort more people. And it's just every mission is itself the same thing over and over again. And then the various missions don't have a great deal of variety to them. And so I, I feel no motivation to keep playing them. Uh, it also feels dated, and I'm not gonna harp on the game too much for that. No game should always aim to be like Red Dead Redemption 2, especially with the amount of work and, and the resources, the obscene amount that went into Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't want every game breaking the bank and breaking developers' backs. But it is difficult for an open world game that promises over the top open world action to come out in the same year as Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, even something like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Hell, even Far Cry 5, which I do think came out this year because this year's been the longest year in the history of years. Even something like that does the open world busy work stuff better. And this isn't necessarily Just Cause's fault. It's a cheaper, cheerful alternative to a lot of big budget games, although it charges the same amount. But visually and, and in terms of physics and action and explosions, it's all just a bit of a throwback. It's a bit archaic, as is the gameplay structure. And with so many more expensive, better open world games, Maybe we don't need so many open world games on the lower end of the market. Not everything has to be an open world game. Now I'm not saying Just Cause has to change its genre, but maybe the developers of Just Cause could spend their time elsewhere making something a bit more linear in a way less tapped market. The open world genre is so friggin' flooded now by so many newer, better feeling games that a title like Just Cause really does suffer now. Maybe we get out of an incredibly bloated genre where there are just too many games now. I realise Just Cause has some loyal fans, and I know that that's not gonna please people for me to say I don't like it, but, you know, I can't make up how I feel about it. I just found it all a bit of a dull slog. There's nothing that keeps me hooked here. Uh, once I've seen the explosions, all that's really left on offer is more explosions more whipping people about, more driving around for a minute. Plus, I've always just found it more efficient to play the game in the most boring way possible. Just shoot them and they die. You kind of have to contrive situations to get the most fun out of this. And I'd rather the game deliver the fun up front rather than have players go out of their way to find it. And for a game that relies on the imagination of players so much, it's a shame that Just Cause 4 isn't itself a bit more imaginative. Just Cause 4 is another one of those games that I could describe as simply fine. It's not a badly put together game. I mean, the physics can be a bit wonky, and as I say, it's a bit dated, but it's, it's okay. It doesn't do anything particularly wrong. It just doesn't really do anything amazing or all that interesting either. Uh, there are so many other games I would rather play. Um, so many other open world games and so many other action games overall uh, that it just it feels like too much of a throwback. It feels like not even notable enough to be much of an also ran. It's just there and it's all right. 
and that's about it. You know, I would rather be playing Smash Brothers than even talking about the game, but you know, I did buy it, so might as well get some content out of it. But even then, I very almost didn't bother because I just didn't want to play it. I'm, I'll, I'll admit, I'm playing Super Smash Brothers at the moment. It came out last night, watched the Game Awards and everything. And that was, that was the Game Awards. Bunch of commercials, wasn't it? It was all right. Um, as far as all the big flashy world premieres and everything, not the biggest uh, event, really. I do like that, uh, what was it, the outer, Worlds or something, I forget the exact name, the one that the Obsidian people are doing, who uh, really reminded us that they worked on Fallout New Vegas and the original Fallout, and reminded us that they were there when Fallout was good, not Fallout 76, which I realise I'm bagging on a lot lately, but, you know, when Bethesda makes it so easy... What you gonna do? But to talk again about open world games, I'll put Smash away now. To talk again about open world games, I, even though I've struggled to really get into Just Cause games before, despite trying my hardest, I really tried. I really did. I'm sorry, I tried. Uh, but as much as I've tried, this one was especially difficult because I do feel open world games, is, it's such a saturated thing now. There's too many of them. And a game like this just won't get a look in, um, at least as far as I'm concerned. You know, maybe it's selling particularly well. Maybe the market overall isn't tired of them yet. But I feel like it's going to happen because the amount we're getting every single year, all of them competing for attention, all of them trying, many of them rather, trying to up the ante. A game like this that doesn't really up any ante whatsoever, uh, it's going to struggle to look decent compared to everything else, which again is why I feel like uh, certain mid-tier developers are best off, unless they've got some incredible idea or a very unique visual style that they can pull off. Unless there's something about their open world game that's truly impeccable, they're best off getting out of it, you know. I feel like it is a, a it's a myth that the industry pushed successfully uh, when it suggested that you know open world games are the only successful games no one wants single player no one wants linear games anymore uh, they did a successful job of making those words dirty especially the word linear which a lot of people went along with but linear is not a bad word in and of itself you know, even games that could be described as corridor shooters or, you know, corridor games, they're not bad inherently. Gears of War has always been fine. I wouldn't want Gears of War to be open world. Uh, the corridors allow them to better dictate the pacing of their game, uh, better craft a narrative into the game. Uh, you know, I'm one of the weird people who actually plays Gears for the story. Um, there are benefits to that. It allows so much more control over how your game feels. And you can make the games look better because you don't have to make them bigger. And they're just more interesting, a lot of them, than yet another Me Too open world game. They're not needed. That's a problem with Just Cause 4. I just don't feel there's any need for it. Uh, but again, maybe it scratches an itch for some people, but I feel like Again, just play Far Cry 5 if you want a humdrum open world busy work game. It's got helicopters in it. I don't even think Far Cry 5 was particularly spectacular, uh, but it was what it was. And Just Cause 4 is not particularly spectacular, and it is what it is. You know, you can shoot a person and they blow up, and you can realize now it went, I'm not even at the 10 minute mark and I'm struggling to find more things to say about it. Because at this point it really is just repeating what it is. It's got guns in it and blowing stuff up in it. And you can fly in a plane and an helicopter. I'll say that, that's one thing that Just Cause 4 has over bigger budget games. And even Rockstar. The one thing this has over Grand Theft Auto V is that at least the helicopters and the planes are fun to drive around in. Not particularly enthralling, but fun. And that's something Rockstar could learn. Your helicopters aren't bloody fun. That's the one thing Rockstar could do where copying a game like Just Cause would work out for them. But I tell you what, I think I'm just going to go back to playing Super Smash Brothers now. I'm sat here and all I can do is think about playing it. Uh, and I'll do a video on that. 
uh, a bit later on. That'll be something positive for you. Some people are like, oh, don't you like anything? Well, I like Super Smash Brothers. I'll do a video on that and say I like it. And then you can see me say I like something if that's what gets you off. Right, that's enough.